Alrighty, so here we have a pretty short fiber run, just going across one span, then back to this corner of the building here. I already got my setup, got some pylons out, and uh, yeah, ready to go. The line's already laid out. I've already fed it behind this pole because I want to stay on field side, which is the opposite of roadside. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be running it on that side of the strand, starting at that MPT right there, multi, <coughs> multi port terminal. And uh, just first off, I have to fix my ladder. Yesterday I installed these leveling systems and I put new rung locks on because I've been having issues with my previous ones. So I just have to put these new bolts in to secure it. Just to give me some extra safety. Well, that's the way they should be installed. These rung locks come with these long bolts that aren't fully threaded. So I can't ever get them fully tight. But now I can. Gonna tighten these here. Happy with that. I should probably do it the other way. It's not a deep impact. There we go. It's nice and tight to me. Put that in there for now. Just gotta get this bad boy up. There we go. Up we go. Nice and secure. Any road locks. Oh, the strand is very loose. But it should still support my weight. hook myself up to the strand behind me. This is an old copper cable. I was cut down, so I'm gonna finish the job. Start off by opening up the port here, port number two. This is an eight port terminal, but it looks like maybe port seven and eight are dead and then oh, a little sloppy this morning Get that out of there. install my clamp This is very sloppy, but I can fix it running through there. Gonna need two more clamps here. Grab three. One more here. And then you can see these are upright because they're kind of just guiding clamps. And then this one is going to be facing down because the tension is going that way. We want the opening of the clamp away from the tension. drop I've already tagged it go up through here now we'll just feed it through there and through there come back down 
Sorry for my sniffling. A little bit congested. Pop that guy in. Put the dust caps back together. My paint pen is a little runny here. Just a little picture of the tag. And we can go ahead and zip tie these. If you've watched my previous drop videos, it's a little less communi communicative. I was gonna do, uh, sorry, a voiceover of the video, but then I decided not to. But going forward, I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing as I do it. Hopefully make the editing easier. Gotta admit, it is a little weird talking to myself, but for the sake of the video. So normally when you change directions, you have to do a loop, but this way we're kind of just sweeping over to the other side of the strand. Usually the chain of direction, change of direction applies off of the strand. Okay, I'm happy with that. No kinks. Ready to keep it going. And as usual, I forgot that was hooked up behind me. Just need a picture of this. Trying to get a good angle. Probably fast forward through this, so see you at the other end. And we're back. So now I just have to tension the cable here. That end it was facing down because the tension was going in that direction. Now the tension is coming from this direction. So we flip it around. If you want to keep the clamp loose, you'll see why in a second. On a fresh install to a new home, I would come off the mid span there at a 90 degree angle to the home because it looks cleaner and avoids this, but I'm following the existing lines for this one, which is protocol. Now you just hand tighten. Oh, little issue, gotta be careful. We're hung up on the, the copper box over there. Which is no bueno. You want to be free and clear. I might have to go over there and fix it. Oh, never mind. I got it. A little bit of finesse. So there you go. You want it to match the exact height of the existing strand which is pretty much there 
Looks good to me. But normally I keep it loose because I can tighten it by moving the clamp itself, which is much easier than hand tightening by this way. But see, just moving it a couple inches got way too tight. Now I just gotta readjust. Looks good to me there. Tighten that up, push that clamp in, and we're gonna do a 180 loop. to document that there we go see you at the other end okay and we're back just have to get a little bit set up I'll drop here I opened up the LP of the mask down there and this is their existing anchor point which I'm not really a fan of. Old school, we would need to use a preform, which is an option, but I don't like to use them. I think I'm gonna just place an anchor right here. Throughout my anchor. This is called a ram horn. And I'm gonna put it in a place where it won't cause any leaks. Bring it up to the proper height, pretty much matching the existing drops. It is a little lower here, but I can get from there on to match. Now we just need to install the drip loop. Pretty much once this, your hand can comfortably go through it. Now we get to a little bit of a tricky part. Probably won't be able to see this just yet, but I gotta feed the drop through here. And I'm gonna cut the video here at this point. I'll show you where I'm trying to get into. I have to go from there down to here. But at this point, I have to go inside the building, determine how far inside this goes so I know how much to cut. Pretty much where I'm at is where I'm guessing I have to cut it and then push it down, feed it in. So I'll show that part in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm inside here where the other end of that uh, LB comes in. All the drops come in through here and into this telecom panel and it looks like some of the coax services come out that way and all the coppers in here. Ideally, I'd like to be able to fit a DMARC box in here, but uh, it doesn't look like there's enough depth. depth sorry, um, There's a knockout here, so I might bring the line in, knock out, and put it here. I guess we'll see what happens, but that's the inside before. Okay, we're back outside, and as I previously guessed, um, my distance was pretty much spot on. Now I just have to feed this through and into this mast. Like so. Oh my god. 
screws and it creates a pain in the ass. together Don't rattle in the wind Maybe one more over here and now we just gotta pop the mask cover back on Perfect. All right, see you back inside. And we're all done. Drop is nicely cold inside. Could add this as well, just to secure it. A little bit overkill in my opinion, but beautiful. All that's left, put the MPT data and port number so the technician who installs the service knows where the line is coming from and can complete the connection. But that's about it. We have our line saddled in here, it's tucked away, and boom. And then with this cover goes in there. There we go. Sign seal delivery.